Oh, I was just about to say, she must have attracted some. Oh, nice! Look at that, they're testing my defense, look! Oh, that is awesome! Oh, that is so cool! Greetings, guys and girls, fellow gamers! My name is Games of Kicks, and welcome back to Smarted Days to Die! Where we play Seven Days to Die modded using Valmod. Whoa, it is way too early for me, it's 9 o'clock in the morning! On Saturday, I'm recording this episode for tonight! And it's weird, when you when you do things at different time slots, it's weird. I work better at night, working in the morning is just strange. Anyway, we have a lot of little jobs to do today. We have to prepare for Horde Night, we have to upgrade our pillars downstairs to steel because these guys are coming through like trucks, as we saw in the last episode. We also want to see what we can do with the rest of the kitchen, and there's a lot of other little jobs to do that we're gonna have to look at. Well, maybe we don't have time for them, so that's why I'm not mentioning them. We'll see. Oh, look at that, the farm has bloomed again! Anyway, I hope you guys are gonna have a great time watching the episode today. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the ball to support the channel and the series and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button <sighs> so let's get started in preparation of our defenses we're going to have to get a lot of stone but I'm gonna first take this wood apart here we're gonna have to fell all our trees and reseed oh it's always a lovely job especially if you have a chainsaw the chainsaw is so loud but it's absolutely awesome <laughs> it's so much fun to actually cut down zombie with that chainsaw I don't even know if you can hear me! <laughs> We're extending our tree farm a little bit out so we have more wood. I mean, we do get 10, 20,000 wood, but if we want to make a lot of spikes, we need a lot more wood. Because these, all this wood we just got from all the trees, if we actually want to make spikes, these guys, this is only 200. Like, I need to be able to make 200 and still have enough wood left to work with. So, we're going to have to start planting more trees. So, that's why I'm extending this. There we go. Look at this. Now, before we were all up here. Also, by the way, the stuttering you see. I seem to get this only in Valmod. When I used to get that in, in vanilla, I think I got a vanilla once before. Once I restarted my PC, it was fine. But it sinks, I think in Valmod, it happens a lot more. I don't know why that is, if it's loading in more things, or if it has to check every now and then more things, I have no idea. Um, it's not frequent, it's not like it triggered by a certain action, it just happens, even if you stand around and do nothing. And when I check my memory usage, it's absolutely fine, there's nothing going on. So it's a bit like when you open this. And you don't have anything in and you get the lag because there's so many items in. I think it might have something to do with that. I have no idea. It only happens a few times. Anyway. I just wanted to say that because a few people have actually tried to help me out in the comments. And saying like, oh, do you have an SSD? Things like that. So I appreciate the help. But I definitely think... Um, well, mind you, I keep copying over folders when I'm playing the different versions, so it could easily be that I might have to do a complete reinstall of Valmod on a vanilla version of Seven Days to Die, and that will get rid of any issues. Like, So there could be a lot of XML overrides happening, maybe, that cause um, these problems to occur. So for the next episode, I'm probably going to do that, because I have to upgrade Valmod probably anyway. Uh, somebody said there is a version seven, uh, 475 out, so we're going to have to look at that. Anyway, I hope it's not going to be too interrupting and we're going to be able to focus on this episode. So what are we going to do now? We planted all the tree seeds. I'm going to have to put them back. I upgraded my farm. I replanted seeds in my farm. And now we're going to have to go for stone. I have to get a lot of stone, guys, because we have to uh, upgrade everything. We're going to have to make the bridge. We're going to have to make the overwalk. There's so much stone we need. It's insane. I'm going to have to go and get about 15,000, 20,000 stone. And without... Uh, Auger, this is just painful. I already checked the mailbox. There's no auger pieces available, so tough luck. Well, that was expected. Um, with all these forges burning, that we're gonna get some visitors, and they're already hammering our steel defenses. Hey, hey, pretty girl. Oh, you hit me twice, you little bitch. There we go. Oh, nothing for me. Okay, Let's see if I can get your body at least. Did she not attract any zombies at all? Oh, I was just about to say, she must have attracted some. Oh, nice! Look at that, they're testing my defense, look! Oh, that is awesome! Oh, that is so cool! Oh, we have to go over there. Oh, quick. Oh, 
There we go. Nice. Is there another screamer? Where is she? I can't see her. Oh, balls. There we go. Ah, she's gonna get more. Ah, well, at least we have a little bit of action then in the end of the episode. <laughs> okay, there's some people that died here. That's good. They're all spawning in over there. Let's see if we can give them a headshot before they lose their legs. Nice. <laughs> I love it. This is a really good defense, guys. You are so amazing. I'm going to do that all the way around. Look at that. That is so cool. There we go. Very nice headshot. That was a lovely headshot. That's it. They're just getting stuck on my barbed wire over there. Oh, you guys are awesome with your ideas in the comments. That is so cool. Okay, we don't have to worry about these guys. Do we? No? Awesome! Yeah, I kind of changed my mind about this whole uh, sand thing, like, because we can't go out in the moment to get sand, and I have, I do have enough stone. So I spent about 8,000 stone on making sand, so we have two, four, six, eight thousand sand coming up, um, which allows us to make 8,000 uh, more concrete mix, which should be enough for everything we want to do, because we need to that concrete mix to make uh, blocks, obviously. So I'm gonna go over to the other side here, and see if we can um, get some blocks done. I still have my little thing here. Let's see, we do concrete blocks. This is the ones we need. Yeah, 105 is fine. And the angled ones I'm gonna get done at another time for the next batch. There we go, excellent. Oh, we can destroy that, we don't wanna eat that. Um, also, the kitchen, while we're actually do while we're at night and we're waiting for things to happen. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. Let's have a look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. This defense is awesome. Okay. Now, this is just barbed wire. And they're walking through it. And then they get here, and they don't even get to the spikes. That is so cool. I love that. We definitely have to do that all the way around. So I'm glad I, I, I planted more trees, because I think what we're going to be doing is making a lot of those spikes, and we can queue up... A, or we, we probably should... We should have a workbench here in this area. We should have a workbench here, so we don't have to constantly go... Um, to the other side as well so it would be nice to have another workbench here because i think on the workbenches is where i will have to do um the barbed wire fences yes i can make them here that's very good so we have a lot of them coming up as well now for the kitchen area i want to do some si some chairs and some tables so um let's take let's make a few of them and let's make a table. Now, I want to actually do the red table, but I don't have any chrysanthemum in the moment because I planted it all, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit. Maybe four. We'll see. So I'm just gonna let this craft through. And what else do we have? A wooden desk? No, that wouldn't. Would, no, 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 not a desk. Not a desk. What else would be there that might look good? It would be nice to have like a cabinet that goes all the way across. A nightstand maybe look good. We'll see. Oh yeah, there's another couple of things I want to do. I want to... Do some of those guys. Oh, there we go. Yeah, one is enough at the moment. So let's pick these guys up. Oh, I forgot I don't, uh, I have the crafting turned off because I still need uh, carpentry experience. So I'm gonna leave this all on. Yes, 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 because I want the experience. That's why I have them all blocked off here. And that's it. Now, table goes here. Ah, come on. The stupid list is slowing everything down. 
Now let's see if we have the room to place these. So in the middle of the room or on the side. I think we should probably do it here. Okay. Now that will be a red table eventually. I just want to see what it looks like. Let's do it in an angle. Somebody got up, you know. Ah, your balls. There we go. Now let's not do all of them in an angle. Let's do some actually properly. Why can it not just stand properly? Why do you have to start in this weird position? There we go. And then maybe another one here. Excellent. So, yeah, that's nice. I like that. Now, these guys here, I think, would look good as a kitchen unit if we put multiple in a row here. Say, starting in line with the table. And then putting them all the way down. I think that would look good. I think so. Yes. And it would be great if we could make like uh, little candlesticks or something. That would be absolutely awesome. Similar to the pot. And the pot we're going to have here. Come on. There we go. Like that. That looks pretty good. I like it. And we might actually put a cooler on top of that. I think I have a cooler here somewhere. Let me see. Quest items? No, 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 no. It was something to do world items. Oh, no. Just another disposal one. And a suitcase. A sports bag? Would that look good? We have a sports bag lying around here. I don't know. Could leave it there. Looks like a loaf of gun of bread. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Even was a lot of waffle in this one <laughs> again. Um, but we should be able to progress much faster now in the coming episodes because of all the grinding we did If you didn't remember to kick that like button in the balls And I hope to see you guys in the next video And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button I'll see you guys next time until then as always feel Spaß and happy gaming Go 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 Okay, the trees haven't grown yet Let's close this. Oh nice Whew. And let's look at the tunnel We are going this way yeah, I mean, look at this. Look how long this tunnel is. I'm not kidding you. I wasn't kidding you when I was saying how long it was. That is how much stone I dug out. The skipping you see now is because new areas are loading in above. <laughs> Told you, I wasn't kidding. So, how are you? Everything well? Yeah, we could do with a motorbike down here, I think. <laughs> yes, definitely motorbike. <laughs> Holy balls. This is literally the longest tunnel I've ever dug and dug. Yay, the wall! Now, look where we are. Here. This is insane. So we could actually do a little place here now where we just pop out. And if we want to escape, we could have a motorbike down here. Look, I mean, look at the distance. That is insane. I didn't realize that. I just kept digging and digging until I had all the stone I needed. So we started from here and went all the way across. You can even hear monsters above. <laughs> so it's very good.